Join us now in Israel for the real story, brought to you by www.israelvision.tv. Hello, my name is Dr. Jay Rawlings, and today I'm bringing you the real story entitled Israel, a Place of Refuge. With the current downturn in world opinion concerning Israel, especially since the Gaza-bound flotilla debacle, there are those who are fleeing to Israel for safety. It must be pointed out that to thousands of African refugees from war-torn Sudan and Eritrea, Israel is a highly desirable destination, providing peace, safety, and protection. In fact, in the last few years, nearly 25,000 asylum seekers have landed in North, southern Israel, illegally crossing over from Egypt at the current rate of over 1,000 per month, and the number is rising. In proportionate terms, it means that the United States would have had to deal with the problem of 2.5 million refugees in the last few months, a daunting task indeed. The Bible is clear about taking in those who have nowhere else to go, especially in times of distress. Six cities of refuge were set up in biblical Israel, where the asylum seeker could flee to safety until his case was fairly heard and justice was done. Now today, Israel has become an entire nation that is a place of refuge for those from countries where they will suffer harm uh, if they return. Israel, located at the crossroads of the Middle East and Africa, is a primary destination for a veritable exodus of hurting humanity from Africa via Egypt. William Tall, the head of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, said that Israel has a lot of different issues and challenges on its plate. And I agree with that. It doesn't need the added one of a huge mixed migration coming in from Africa. The potential is that Israel would become home for the majority of the people from another culture and ethnicity. Israel is busy trying to solve this very real humanitarian concern with very little help from outside. And now Israel is laboring over the responsibility to actually determine who is and who is not a refugee. Israel provides Sudanese refugees with visas and even allows them to work to sustain themselves and their families. My wife Meridel and I are helping one Sudanese family get to Canada as sponsored refugees. But there's been huge piles of red tape to cope with. But Israel is not shirking from their responsibility to help their brothers and sisters in a time of desperate need. This is Jay Rawlings for The Real Story.